hey guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to create this look for you guys I know it looks a little similar to one of my other looks but I promise you it is totally different this one I used rose pigment from Mac and I hope you guys like the way it turned out so for my transition color I'm going in with peach smoothie from makeup geek and I'm taking this on a fluffy brush from Sigma I'll have all the numbers listed below if you guys are interested and I just slap this color all into my crease, um, not being perfect with it or anything, just throwing it all in there. And then I took Chickadee to darken up the color a little bit and to warm it up a little more. And I also took this into my crease exactly in the same spot that I put Peach Smoothie. Now to make the, co the color a little more rosy, I took um, Tuscan Sun from Makeup Geek and I took a smaller brush and I put that directly into my crease um, focusing more of the color on the out, outer corner and then bringing it into the inner corner and I went back and forth with this color until I got the color that I wanted so to darken it up a little more I took Bitten from Makeup Geek and excuse my voice I'm a little bit sick so I'm sorry if I sound kind of like irritating <laughs> But um, I took Bitten and I took most of the color onto the outer corner to darken it because that's where I wanted the darkest spot to be. And then I just took it into my crease. And then I blended it all out with a fluffy brush. Now here's the pigment that I was talking about. This is um, Rose Pigment from MAC. And at first I went in with, and I just wet my brush and put that onto my lid. But I didn't like the color payoff that it was giving me. So I put it onto my lid and I felt like it didn't look foiled enough. So I'll sh in the next clip you'll see that I actually add um, glue and then I go in with the pigment and then it looks like so much more foiled and this is the kind of look that I was going for. So if you want the color to stand out more I suggest you put a little bit of glue and then um, the color will pop even more and it'll look metallic and foiled if you like that kind of look and the brush that I used here is a brush from Morphe and I'm not sure what number it is but I use it as a packing brush and I love the way that it works I picked it up when I went to Fame Expo and I had asked them if they had a dupe for the 224 I think it is by Mac but they didn't know what I was talking about <laughs> but this one is super super good and then um as you've seen, I just took a brush and blended out the pigment so that it didn't look too harsh. And then for my lower lash line, I took the darkest color, which was Bitten, and I put that into my lash line first. And then I took um, Tuscan Sun and I blended it out. And then I also took Chickadee and, what was it, Peach Smoothie, and I blended it out as well. So for my highlight, I'm going in with MAC. I mean nylon from MAC and I took that on my brow bone and then I also take this color into my um, inner tear duct I'm forgetting all the names of the spots of my eyes <laughs> anyways I took it into my uh, inner tear duct and this is like my favorite highlight of all time and then I just go in and tight line and um, Oh my gosh, how am I forgetting what the heck these things are called? I tight line and I uh, put on my waterline. <laughs> and then I just coated my eyelashes, curled my eyelashes and then put mascara. And then I went in with um, eyelashes from Coco Lashes, which are Queen Bee. I'm sorry you guys, I'm like all over the place. I'm like congested, my head is all retarded right now. But for blush, I used uh, Luminoso from Milani. And then for my highlight, of course, you guys already know, I'm going in with Nylon from MAC. This is my favorite. And um, I just put that on my cheekbones, on top of my brow bone, down my nose, on my cupid's bow, everywhere, you know. Oh, and I also forgot to tell you guys that I applied um, liquid eyeliner. And I used the Kat Von D Trooper eyeliner. And I, um, I just did a, I wanted to do a, a little wing, but you know, the wings never go as you want them to. It's like really not up to you how you want your wing. It's, it's up to the liner. <laughs> so then for my lips, I took, um, 
natural from NYX and I just lined my lips and for um, to fill in my lips I used um, sand from dose of colors which is a matte lipstick and I just put that all over my lips of course and then I wanted a glossy kind of look so I took um, NYX butter gloss in eclair and I applied that right over it and I was pretty happy with the look um, not the look, the lip color that it gave me. So this is the completed look. Um, I hope you guys like the way it turned out. I'm super happy with the way that it turned out. I wanted to use this pigment again so bad because I've only used it like once or twice since I bought it. So I wanted to put it to use again. So I hope you guys like this look. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Leave any comments down below if you guys have any suggestions for any videos. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.